Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. Let's begin with this yellow semicircle and let's draw these two line segments CD and DE as shown in the figure. The measure of angle CDA is 45 degrees and the measure of angle EDB is also 45 degrees. It is given that the length of segment CD is 6 units and the length of segment DE is 8 units. Since we have here a straight angle and the measure of these two angles are both 45 degrees, it implies that the measure of angle CDE must be 90 degrees. Then let's draw this red circle that is tangent to the two line segments and to the semicircle itself. We would like to find what is the area of this red circle. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this beautiful geometry problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by constructing this right triangle here. Let's call this point as point G. Now since this is 45 degrees and we have a right angle here, it implies that the other angle is 45 degrees because the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So what we have is an isosceles right triangle. Its hypotenuse is 6 units. Let's recall some properties of this special 45-45 right triangle. If the length of the hypotenuse is x, then the measure of each of the two legs in relation to the hypotenuse x is given by the expression the length of the hypotenuse times square root of 2 divided by 2. Here we know that the hypotenuse is 6, so 1 half of 6 is 3, then copy square root of 2 to get 3 square root of 2 for the measure of each of these two legs. The length of segment GD is 3 square root of 2. Next, let's do the same thing here. We have here a right triangle. This is 45 degrees, this is 90 degrees here. The measure of this other angle is 45 degrees. Using the same formula, we can deduce that the length of segment EH and the length of segment DH are both 1 half of this 8 times square root of 2, which is 4 square root of 2. So the length of segment DH is 4 square root of 2. Next, let's connect point C and point E to the center of the semicircle O. That is another right triangle and here is another right triangle. Now let's define a variable capital R to be the radius of the yellow semicircle. So that means CO and EO are both equal to capital R. Then focus your attention to this length DO. Let's use a variable x to represent that length. Concentrate now on this right triangle, this right triangle that's color pink. Using the Pythagorean formula, our hypotenuse here would be the radius of the semicircle which is denoted by capital R. So C squared is R squared and the square of this leg here, CG, is the square of 3 square root of 2 and the measure of this leg GO is the sum of this 3 square root of 2 and x, which is this expression, 3 square root of 2 plus x. And squaring that, we are squaring this other leg of this pink right triangle. Then similarly, take a look at this other right triangle here. OE is also a radius of the yellow semicircle, and EH and OH are the legs. Using the Pythagorean formula again, the square of the hypotenuse is R squared, the measure of the leg EH is 4 squared of 2. And the measure of the leg OH is the difference between 4 squared of 2 and this x. That's why you have this 4 squared of 2 minus x. And we take the sum of the squares of those two legs that is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is the radius of the yellow semicircle. So both of them are equal to R squared. That means these two right sides of these equations are also equal and we can now form this equation. There is only one variable x here, so we can now solve for x in this equation. So let's simplify. The square of 3 square root of 2 is 18. Then we have here a binomial, so the square of 3 square root of 2 again is 18, plus twice the product of these two terms to get 6x square root of 2, plus the square of x, which is x squared. Then going to the right side of the equation, the square of 4 square root of 2 is 32. And then we have here, the square of a binomial 4 squared of 2 minus x. So we square the first term to get 32 again, minus twice the product of these two terms to get minus 8x squared of 2, 
plus the square of the last term x squared. Then notice that this x squared and this x squared can be cancelled by subtraction and 18 plus 18 is equal to 36, copy this one, 32 plus 32 is 64 and copy the remaining term here. Then let's combine like terms. We add 8x squared of 2 to both sides of the equation and we subtract 36 from both sides of the equation. This simplifies to 14x squared of 2 equals 28 and dividing both sides by 14 squared of 2, we arrive at x equals 28 over 14 squared of 2. 28 divided by 14 is 2, copy squared of 2 in the denominator. And finally, let's rationalize the denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by squared of 2. The numerator now becomes 2 squared of 2 and the denominator is squared of 2 times squared of 2 or squared of 4 which is 2 and 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So finally, x is equal to the square root of 2. So this length of segment DO is now this square root of 2. Since we already know that x is equal to the square root of 2, then we can now compute for the value of capital R, which is the radius of the yellow semicircle. So substituting now the value of x to this equation, we replace this x by square root of 2, which is the value here. 3 square root of 2 plus 1 square root of 2 is 4 square root of 2. And then simplifying, the square of 3 square root of 2 is 18, and the square of 4 square root of 2 is 32. So r squared is equal to 50, taking the square root of both sides, that is r is equal to plus or minus the square root of 50, but since you are talking about the length of the radius, we take the principal square root, and simplifying, this is equal to 5 square root of 2. Capital R, or the radius of the yellow semicircle, is 5 square root of 2. In order to find the area of the red circle here, the radius that we need is not the capital R, but the radius of the red circle itself, not the radius of the yellow semicircle. But we can use these values in order to find out what is the radius of the red circle. So, Let's do another construction here. Let Q be the center of this red circle, and let's draw this green triangle. This is a right triangle because we have here a radius and a line segment CD that is tangent to the circle. And the radius and the tangent line are perpendicular with each other. Also, notice that this segment QD bisected angle CDE. Notice that I can reflect this green right triangle to the other side like this, and these two triangles are congruent, and this line segment QD bisected this 90 degree angle, making the measure of this angle to be both 45 degrees. And so again, we have a 45, 45, 90 special triangle with a radius of small r. Then going back again to the property of a special 45, 45, right triangle, this time if you know that the length of the leg is x, and since this is isosceles, the measure of the two legs are both x, and the length of the hypotenuse is x squared of 2. Here we know that the measure of the two legs are both equal to small r, the length of qd must be r times square root of 2. So qd is equal to r squared of 2. Our goal is to find the exact measure of this small r so that we can find the area of the red circle. Let's draw another triangle. Remember that O is the center of the yellow semicircle, and Q is also the center of the red circle. The semicircle can be extended to become a circle. Now, when you connect the centers of two circles that are tangent, either externally or internally, these two centers are collinear with the point of tangency, F. So we can deduce that point F, point Q, and point O are collinear forming a straight line FO, which is also another radius of the yellow semicircle. So this is now radius OF or FO. And the length of segment FQ is the radius of the red circle, which is small letter r. Now in here, we already know the length of side QD to be r squared of 2. We know that the length of DO is x, which is equal to square root of 2. We need to be able to find the length of this hypotenuse so that we can apply again the Pythagorean formula. Since this length here is the radius small r, and the length of the entire line segment is FO, 
and FO is equal to 5 squared of 2 because that is our capital R. Then the length of QD would be 5 squared of 2 minus this small r. And that is now the length of this line segment QO, which is the hypotenuse of this green triangle here. So using now the Pythagorean formula again, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, where our C is 5 squared of 2 minus r, our A is r squared of 2, and our B is squared of 2. Here there's only one variable r, so we can now solve for the value of r here, and we are close to finding the area of this red circle. Simplifying, we now expand the left side of this equation to the square of 5 squared of 2, which is 50, minus twice the product of these two terms, plus the square of r, which is r squared. The square of r squared of 2 is 2 r squared, and the square of the square of 2 is 2. Then, let's combine like terms. What we now have here is a quadratic equation. And let's solve this by completing the square. So we take half of 10 squared of 2, which is equal to 5 squared of 2, and square that. Add the same quantity to the right side of the equation. Then, this is now a perfect square trinomial, which is equal to the square root of r squared, and the square root of this squared term here, which is 5 squared of 2. Then, the square of 5 squared of 2 is 50, the right side becomes 48 plus 50, or 98. And we take the square root of both sides to arrive at r plus 5 square root of 2 equals 7 square root of 2. Since r is positive, we just take the principal square root. Then we subtract 5 square root of 2 from both sides of the equation to arrive at r equals 2 square root of 2. So we now know what is the radius of the red circle. And to find the area, we just use the formula area is equal to pi r squared, where r is 2 squared of 2. And simplifying, 2 squared of 2 squared is 8 copy pi. So the final answer is the area of the red circle here is 8 pi square units or approximately 25.12 square units. And this is now our final answer. This is Lando Assistant and we hope to see you again in our next video. See the beauty of mathematics.